Let's plot a scatter chart together with a bar chart and making sure that we can control the exact position if it's a number or a string value as you see here below. So let's start look how to plot bars on a scatter chart in Chart.js 4. To do this, I'm going to show you two methods. First one, of course, before we can do anything else, make sure you have the border template. You can find the border template here on chartjs3.com getting started this link. You can find it as well in the description box. Once shown here, copy this chunk of code here. Next, if you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon slash chartjs page where you get the source code of many of my videos and of course you support the channel. Alright, let's start to work on this. The first thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this entire item. We're going to create two data sets. I'm going to paste that entire data set in here. Make sure we have a comma there. And then what I will say here for the label to make it simple, this will be the bar label and this will be the scatter chart label. And the reason why I'm doing this is so later on we can exactly see our values. Right now it's just like this, scatter and bar. But now what I want to do is I want to remove here below the type. I don't need the type here. I'm going to specify in advance in the data set itself. So I'm going to say here type. This will be my scatter chart. Save that. And then we go down here for this type here for this data set. We'll say type. This will be the bar chart. Make sure we have a comma here. Save. Refresh. As you can see here, the moment we create a scatter chart, we get the X and Y scales in a linear structure. Very important. So there are two ways, and this is one of them. This is a linear structure here with the numbers. So what I'm going to do now is the following. I want to say here, let's start to work on adding some numbers. And for the scatter chart, we're going to specify the X value. So let's say a value number three, and then for the Y value, a number six. And then what we're going to do is, of course, here, comma, and then we're going to do exactly the same. Let's get another one. And I'm going to say here, this will be number 9, and this will be for the Y value, number 12. By doing this, saving this, refresh, you can see here now what is happening. It's starting to change here, and we have two specific items. All right. What I'm going to do next is go down to the bar chart. I'm going down in the bar chart, and here, I want to change these as well. We will be using a very similar structure, but slightly different. Because we're working basically with a floating bar chart, so we're going to use not only the X and Y value, but the floating bar chart structure. So we're going to say, first of all, for the X value, and the X value can be, well, if I want the red value here is on a Monday or, well, number 3. We can even remove this Monday. This has no value for us. Let's put it away, and let me just undo this. So you can see here how it will look. It's just a number, as you can see. So let's show this. We're going to say here, I want to grab number three, comma, but for the Y structure, what I want is a bar starting from the bottom all the way up to, let's say number four here, hitting this number. So we're going to say here, zero, and then all the way to number four. Let's save this. Refresh, and as you can see here now, it will hit like this, and we have the scatter here side by side. Let's do the one for blue as well. For that, same logic will be applied. We're going to figure out what is the number here. You can see here this is number 9. So I'm going to say here, number 9, and then here we could do, let's say, number 8. Almost touching this specific item here, or sorry, number 9, and this is of course the value of 12. And why 12? We go up here. We have here the y scale of 12. So if I touch this one, let's put it on 11, we'll get very close to it. There we are. So if you're wondering why are we not hitting the zero here, we have to go here to the y scale, or sorry, to the x scale, and you can just pinpoint here, begin at zero, which will be equal to true. Save that, refresh, there we are. All right, so that is one of the ways. Let's, to make sure you understand one more, let's add up another one so in this case I will add up here a final one that's that will be our orange color but I want to make sure that this one starts at 1 and will be the y of 2 so you can see here this one is just first well it has a color of the third one of the array so what we're going to do here is same logic we're going to say here 
Well, let's see here the y would be equal to number 1. Oh, sorry, that's the x. And then the y will be equal to whatever we have here. To make it simple, I'm going to say 0 all the way to 1. So it will be just nicely nearby. There we are. All right. This is one of the ways. We can do another way, and this is especially that you will see this will have impact the moment you change the type into a bar. So if I change this, our scale will by default change into the bar or category type. So I'm going to copy this, cut this out, move this up now. So immediately, ChargeJS will understand this will be a category style. As you can see here, the structure changes and breaks all our previous design. All right, so what I want to do now is because it's a category style, it works with labels here. So you could have, for example, task one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the labels here and you can see now it starts to work as well. But what I could do is, for example, I want the Monday because right now, look very carefully, our structure is just red, blue, yellow. This is the standard structure. I don't want this. I want this red color, which is the very first of our array. That's this one here move to the end on Sunday. So how can I do this? Well, what I'm going to do here, instead of saying here X for the red one here, because if I'm not mistaken, 0, 4, that's 0, 2, 4. I'm just going to say here, this will be equal to Sunday. Make sure that this matches exactly the structure or written of the string value here. By doing that, say refresh, you can see here now, the bar moves to the very end. What I want to do as well is saying logic for this scatter value so the x value should be converted instead of a number we're going to put in here sunday there we are and as you can see here now the structure moves nicely and of course we could change this as well for the others we could change here let's say this will be wednesday and this one here will be thursday and if you copy this and put it up here you will see that it all will align nicely Say here, Thursday, save that, refresh, and there we are. Now we can control them exactly and pinpoint them exactly where we want them. And that's it.